Hey guys, Lance here. Uh, it's been a while since I've made a video, but uh, today we're coming at you with uh, how to make a filter for Instagram and or Facebook using the Spark AR um, program that's free from Facebook. Yeah, I know, Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not too thrilled either. Uh, let's blame my wife for this one. But she's got me into this thing, and uh, I'm interested in it because you can make some really cool things for Instagram. Um, or Facebook if anybody really uses that. Um, that said, uh, let's go ahead and create a project. Now, I've already made it a sample one uh, just as a test. Um, now, there's nothing in it, of course. Um, we have nothing in here, no assets, no objects. So, essentially, this is an empty project. So, first thing that's important is go to your microphone, disable that. Uh, depending on your Spark AR version, you might have an issue... Um, that could occur. Um, I had this product crash a couple times and a Facebook person contacted me actually today on uh, Messenger uh, trying to understand why I was using a microphone. Well, I wasn't attempting, but nonetheless, um, so let's go ahead and get into this, right? So let's go ahead and go to uh, camera and I'm going to go ahead and create a particle system as so. So we have this particle system, but now we need to do something with it, right? So one easy way is clicking materials. Now we have a new material, right? Great, as you see there. But now let's click on this material and add a texture. So in this case, we're going to do uh, crane flies, right? So what's cool with that is now we have this texture that's on our uh, material. Um, so that is our texture, just so you see. It has an alpha, which means there is no background and this transparency. We have our material itself, which is what we'll apply to our emitter. So from our emitter, you'll notice that our material is there, right? Right. So now you might be saying, well, I don't see anything. That would be true. So you could take this guy, bring it down here, um, and you could bring this guy forward should you want to. And then as you see, as we bring it further, we can have it behind him, in front of him, whatever you want to do and as you see that scales uh, the size of it so it looks smaller or bigger depending on how far uh, you go ahead and do that so we're going to leave it right there so depending on how comfortable you are you can turn off uh, the face and just have this um, I would leave on a face because it might be useful for what we're trying to do so in this case we're using our emitter right and as you see it's flying and if you change the local, you'll see it can go away, right? Which means only one specific spot you'll see that uh, transition or emitter, right? So if you go ahead and change that back to world, no matter where you're supposed to look, essentially, if I'm not mistaken, it should follow. But um, that will make sense later because right now that's not going to do anything, right? So make sure our particle here, you can change the scale of everything. Uh, the lifespan, how long do you want it to show? Do you want to stay for 0.4 seconds? Do you want to stay for 0.9? Um, do you want to have it stay for 5 seconds? Um, it's totally up to you how long you want these things to uh, last on your uh, screen. So as you see, they can last here for a long time should you want. Um, but I'm going to change this lifespan to 0.2. I'm going to change this to 6%. As you see, they are flying very, very fast. Um, so, again, you could change this however you want. Make it slower, faster. Change that to 3 seconds. Totally up to you. Uh, billboarding, you could turn that off, and you'll notice uh, you're going to have a different situation, right? Um, but, again, We'll get into how to spin and tilt and whatnot at another time. But again, speed is all here and, and uh, important because how fast do you want this to go? What do you want the birth rate to be? Um, so we changed it. Well, if you change it to like a 0 0.5, you'll notice it. it's like once in a blue moon it shows up, right? So again, depends on how much you want going on. Like if we set this now to 1, you know, you'll see more coming out, right? Um, and then you could change the speed and whatnot, but in this case, let's go ahead and change this to like a 10. 
So as you see, they're flying, right? Um, so we have that. Now, what we want, as you see, they're just going willy-nilly, right? The emitter. So I want it so that wherever the head goes, this should go. So we go to camera, add, we go to face tracker. I'll bring that down underneath here. And so here we have our face tracker. Now, if you notice, it still doesn't do anything, right? So we want to take our emitter, put it in underneath our face tracker. So now, if you notice, it's still not doing anything, right? So if we go and change to local, it just stays in one spot. You see that? No matter what we do, it will just stay in one spot no matter how you move the face tracker. Um, but uh, that's again totally up to you. But I will go ahead and go back to world. So as you see, we'll move around with your face. So we have it tracking with the face right now. Um, but we want to make sure it's enabled for all the camera views. The emitter is there. So now you came here for a reason. You wanted to see the ability for um, face tracking, uh, which we have there. And the other thing you probably wanted to see was uh, the ability to do interactions, right? So I'm also going to change this to a plane. I do like the way that shows up uh, a little bit better. But uh, that is just me. So we'll go back to world. So it goes everywhere. So the first thing you want to do is if you want this to show up when the mouth uh, is open, the easiest thing you need to do is click on this visible thing, right? Click on this arrow. Click it once, okay? Now you have your emitter, right? So now you have your emitter as visible, but now you will need to do something for the mouth open. So the easiest way is to right click, right? And then you could do something, uh, type in mouth open. That's uh, an effect we want, right? So you have that there. So when the mouth is open, make it visible. So now if you notice, we don't see an effect anymore, right? So let's go ahead and disable that. And that should tell you um, that it will open up. So if you ever did any kind of blueprinting in Unreal, this should be very, very familiar to you. But now, even if we do have the mouth open, it's not going to know what to do, even if we have it emitting as visible, because you don't have a face selected. So again, right click and go to face select as so and have that right there, right? So faces, so, and you're gonna need one more item, which is gonna be the face finder, because you need to find the face. So we'll bring the face finder in the front, take faces to faces, and then take face to face, and then last but not least, if the mouth is open, make it visible, right? So now you'll notice the visibility is gone, right? It's 100% gone, which means only when there's a, a, a mouth open, something will happen. See, the mouth is open, as you saw, which is a smile, and there it is, right? So when the mouth is open, that is when you can have an effect uh, occur. Now, you can change the mouth openness if you want it, right? You can go ahead and do that and give it a value, uh, but uh, let's say value... Uh, well, that's up to you. Um, we won't get into that today, but this at least shows you exactly how to make it so if the mouth is open, something will occur. So in a second, oh, it's open. Now the effect is there. So I'm going to go ahead and make this project available to you guys on my GitHub should you choose to want to use it or try it. It's a very, very simple effect using the emitter. Um, this might be useful for other things. Um, I do recommend using the mouth openness of, of value because as you see, even just a smile could technically be considered as op uh, an open mouth. So if you were trying to make something for Halloween, like a shocking thing, um, obviously this might be the way you want to go. So we'll go ahead and click save. Um, but yeah, so if you choose to use this, uh, it'll be available for you on my GitHub, github.com slash Lance Seidman. You'll see it there. It'll be available freely. Um, but as you see, this is a simple way to uh, learn how to make an emitter, uh, make a material, uh, take a texture and apply it to your material, and then take that uh, material and use it to your emitter and 
have it with the face tracking um, and also have it activated uh, just by having an open mouth and uh, how to select the um, uh, effect which would be the mouth open and find the face um, but nonetheless anyways uh, hopefully this video was helpful to some of you um, Again, this will be available for you to download and play with, and uh, hopefully you don't really need to download it. It should be kind of straightforward. But um, if you have any questions, of course, you can find me on Instagram. Username is a go. Um, yeah, so anyways, uh, till next time. And if you like these tutorials, let me know um, so I know to make more or what you're looking for, um, and we will try to get you more. All right? Have a good day, guys, or night or whatever.